Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To. I'm Brandon Lee, and today we're diving into the best Docker containers for your home server in 2024. I believe that running containerized applications is a direction that everyone should be heading in 2024, whether you're setting up your first home lab or you're looking to optimize your current setup with containerized applications. Today's episode is packed with cool Docker containers that you can self-host, so stick around. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest tutorials tech reviews, and well, just cool stuff. Number one on the list is Chasm Workspaces. Chasm Workspaces is an amazing solution that I stumbled on not too long ago, and it allows you to completely change how you run desktops in your home network or home lab environment. It allows you to do that inside of Docker containers, and it allows you to do this from a browser-based platform. Now, this solution is ideal for those who want a highly secure and versatile remote work environment that isolates sessions to your desktops. And it allows you to perform sensitive work in a protected environment and also one that is scalable. It makes it perfect not just for individuals, but also for enterprises and for geeks who just simply like to test and play around with lots of cool stuff. You can also download a browser plugin that allows you to open potentially dangerous hyperlinks inside of a completely isolated browser application. Number two, Plex. Plex is arguably the ultimate streaming server that allows you to turn a home server or old hardware that you have laying around into a powerful media library. And you can also run this in a Docker container. It allows you to organize video, music, and photos from personal media libraries and allows you to stream them to smart TVs, streaming boxes, and mobile devices. Plex is particularly valuable for the interface and has one of the best around. It also has rich metadata and the ability to stream your content remotely and share it with others. So it makes it a favorite in this list of the top Docker containers for your home server. Number three is Jellyfin. Jellyfin offers a no compromise media experience as an open source alternative to Plex. It allows you to manage and stream your media without worrying about any licensing or privacy concerns. And it also provides all the tools necessary for organizing and managing your media, including live TV and DVR features. And so this makes it a great choice for DIY enthusiasts who want to build and maintain their personal media server and have that control over their digital media assets. Number four is MB. MB stands out by enabling a personalized media server setup that includes live TV and DVR capabilities. And it's designed to organize, play, and stream audio and video to a variety of devices. It also supports plugins that provide additional features and the ability to integrate with other software and hardware enhancing your overall uh, media consumption experience inside of your home network, home lab, or smart environment. Number five is Nextcloud. Nextcloud isn't just a cloud storage solution, but it provides a, a suite of client server software for creating and using file hosting services. And it allows you to have a very cloud-like experience that you completely control. Now it integrates with existing storage that you have in your home, providing file access control, synchronization, backup controls, and much more. And that allows you to have, once again, that complete control. This can also be run inside of a Docker container. It's a great environment, great solution to play around with in the home server network. Number six is Pi-hole. It needs no introduction, but Pi-hole acts as a network-wide ad blocker, and it allows you to enhance your browsing experience. It does what's called DNS sync holding. It allows you to block advertisements at the DNS level. And by doing that, blocking unwanted telemetry advertisements, it's going to increase your internet bandwidth, and it's going to lead to better privacy. 
It also blocks other types of content that we definitely don't want, malware, ransomware. It also has a really highly customizable block list solution that allows you to tailor your blocking experience to meet your own needs. So you can be really aggressive with the number of URLs that you block, or you can be permissive in the types of traffic that you allow through. Either way, it provides that customizable solution. You can also do other really cool stuff like DNS conditional forwarding. You can use it as a DHCP server. It has lots of other bells and whistles in the solution. Number seven is Home Assistant. If you want a smart home environment and you want to do it yourself, Home Assistant allows you to transform your home into a smart home. It's an open source platform that allows you to integrate and control home automation devices from a number of different manufacturers without getting locked into a single ecosystem. It supports numerous plugins for automation and it can be customized to automate tasks based on time, location, or even the status of another device, which allows you to have the building blocks for your smart home and customize it to fit your needs. Number eight is Bitwarden. Bitwarden is a comprehensive open source password management solution that stores all of your passwords in a secure vault. It auto generates strong passwords and it even offers cross platform capabilities. Now with Bitwarden, you can self host your password management solution to keep your login credentials safe and you can still enjoy the conveniences of competing cloud based services. With the new Bitwarden Unified deployment, it drastically simplifies the process of getting up and running in a Docker container uh, in just a few short steps to self-host your password solution. Number nine is Ghost. Ghost is a powerful publishing platform designed specifically for bloggers. If you're into blogging or you want to self-host your own blog, it's a lightweight and SEO-friendly solution with a focus on simplicity and speed. Hosting Ghost inside of Docker allows you to keep full control over your content and your site management, providing a streamlined interface that lets you focus on writing and publishing rather than on maintaining the environment. Number 10 is Gitia. Gitia is a community managed lightweight code hosting solution written in Go and it's published under an MIT license, making it free and open source. Gitia is simple to install and it has low resource consumption, making it ideal for hosting your own projects or small teams looking to self-host their version control system. It's easy to spin up in a Docker container if you wanna start playing around with uh, code repos, management, CICD pipelines, and all of those cool things in the home server environment. Number 11 is Dashi. Dashi helps you organize your server or home lab applications into a beautiful customizable dashboard, providing quick access to your most used sites and tools. With Dashi, you can monitor your server's performance, manage tasks, and even integrate widgets for enhanced functionality, all from a clean, intuitive interface. Check out my video covering Dashi as a home lab dashboard. Number 12 is Uptime Kuma. Uptime Kuma is gaining much popularity in the self-hosted environment. It's a self-hosted monitoring tool that allows you to keep track of various services and ensure they're up and running. It offers detailed analytics and reporting features, and it also can alert you through various methods if any of your monitored services go down, ensuring that you can react to those quickly and minimize downtime, even in your home server or home network environment. And this comes in handy, especially if you're self-hosting critical servers, such as your home automation solution inside your home network. Number 13 is MailRise. MailRise serves as an SMTP gateway to a prize, and it enables legacy devices and applications that support only SMTP for notifications to use modern push notification APIs. And this is the coolest solution. With MailRise, you can centralize and modernize alerts from various systems, and it makes sure that you can stay informed with your push notifications, even from those legacy devices, using your preferred push notification service. Check out my YouTube video talking about how I was able to transition from a legacy SMTP solution over to MailRise. Number 14 is AdGuard Home. 
AdGuard Home is very similar to Pi-hole. It goes beyond basic, typical ad blocking and provides a private DNS service that can block ads, trackers, phishing, malicious domains, and other unwanted traffic across your network. Now, this not only enhances your security of your devices, but it also improves performance by reducing unnecessary network traffic. It's highly configurable and allows you to create custom filtering rules and allows you to monitor statistics about your network traffic and get very detailed reporting on that usage. Finally, number 15 is fresh RSS. If like me, you like to aggregate RSS feeds, Fresh RSS is an efficient self-hosted RSS aggregator that brings your favorite news feeds into one spot. It supports multiple formats and it's easy to install and use, and that makes it ideal for those who want to keep up with a large amount of online content without relying on third-party services. I really like the design of the interface. It's responsive, and it means that you can access your feeds from any device on a desktop, mobile device, doesn't matter. And it makes sure that you're always in the loop with your RSS feeds, no matter where you are. So what do you guys think? These Docker containers offer a range of solutions to enhance your home server self-hosting environment. Everything from media management, smart home control to security and productivity. Each of these solutions has their strengths and when combined, they can create a very powerful, highly personalized home network environment. Exploring these containers, I think, is a great way to delve deeper into the versatility of Docker and using it in your home server environment. Whether you're a media junkie, a smart home enthusiast, or a privacy advocate, or you want to self-host your own code repo, aggregate RSS feeds, whatever the case is, there's something here for everyone. So dive in, experiment, and optimize your home server to suit your needs. If this Docker container roundup helped you and you like some of the solutions maybe that we have showcased here, please like, subscribe, and share it with others. For any questions or discussions, please drop a comment below or create a forum post. Well, until next time, stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.